When it comes to matrix inverses, existence must not be taken for granted. Just because you can define what an inverse is, that does not mean that any given matrix possesses one. Let's think about a simple example of a matrix that is definitely not invertible. Consider the following 2x2 two two matrix, A, B, 0, 0. Doesn't matter what A and B are, this matrix does not have an inverse. Now, how do we know that? You could try to find an inverse and get frustrated. You could, you could just, um, I don't know, you try and it, there it is. It doesn't seem to exist. Well, th there's a little bit better approach, something a bit more fundamental. Here's a lemma. If the system AX equals zero has a solution for a non-zero vector X, then we can conclude that A is not an invertible matrix. And you could apply that to this previous example. Okay, well, how do we, uh, hmm, how do we see that? Okay, here's a proof, and it's going to be just like the last one we did. If we assume that AX equals zero and A is invertible, then we can begin with X and rewrite it as the identity matrix times X, and then use the definition of the inverse to replace that identity with A inverse times A. Now, regrouping the parentheses, we get A inverse times quantity AX, and by hypothesis, A times X is zero. So we really have A inverse times zero, and that, of course, is the zero vector. That means, stringing all these together, that X is equal to zero. Okay, so um, that's something, and you could apply that lemma to the previous 2 by 2 matrix. We can also say that any matrix which can be row reduced to have an all zero row or an all zero column is definitely not going to be invertible, again, by this lemma. And from this, we can conclude that only square matrices can possess an inverse. Okay, that's a good start. Here's an example of a general inverse formula for two by two matrices. This is important, you're going to want to know this. The inverse of the 2 by 2 matrix ABCD is D minus B minus C A with every term divided by quantity AD minus BC. Okay, that's a lot of symbols to put in your head, and you got to put it in your head. This one is so important, you've got to memorize this formula. We're going to use it all the time. But how do we get it? Why is this true? Well... Let's just try. We can prove this directly since we have a candidate. We can multiply A, B, C, D times D minus B minus C, A. And what we're going to get is a diagonal matrix. And on those diagonal terms, we're going to have A, D minus B, C. That means if we scale or multiply by the reciprocal of that, then we're going to get the identity. Boom, that's it. We're done. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Remember in the definition of an inverse, you got to go both ways. So we have to multiply in the reverse order too and show that again. We get the identity matrix, which we do. Wonderful. Okay, so there we go. Two by two matrix, always invertible. Oh no, wait, it's not always invertible because we're dividing by this quantity AD minus BC. It is invertible when that quantity is non-zero. Hmm, what an interesting quantity that is. Okay, well, anyhow, it's clear that this inverse works, but um, where did it come from? Where did we get this? And so what? I mean, you know, who cares? We've introduced this definition. We said it had something to do with solving systems. Okay, what inverses are good for, among other things, is solving linear systems. Let's go back to our ridiculous matrix division idea and replace it with inverses. Given AX equals B, we multiply on the left by A inverse and then regroup those parentheses, use the definition of the inverse to get A inverse times A is the identity. The identity times X is just X. We get a solution. X equals A inverse times B. We're not doing matrix division. We're using inverses. Now, let's say you've got a problem where you have to solve AX equals B over and over again for different values of B. Well, pre-computing that inverse might be useful for updating those solutions. Just remember, when you do, multiply by the inverse on the left.